Oh yeah, we are back. It is happening. Back to the gardens. Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, I hope that you can see me. I can't see anything on here, so hopefully it's even recording. But um, welcome, welcome back. Uh, we are here back at the Hershey Gardens again. You can, well, it's a little blurry back there, but it's Hershey behind me. Um, and we're gonna go in and uh, meet up with Pal and just have another good time. Um, I, last time that I was here, we did not go to the butterfly atrium um, or really check out any of the the inside stuff. So we're definitely gonna do that today and then um, go check out some other stuff. So yeah, let's go. Okay, here we are, Hershey Gardens. It's kind of windy today and a little bit overcast, but the sun is trying to peek out over the clouds and you can see a pretty, another really pretty view of the park down there. So soon we will go there, soon. I think I said that last time too. All right, we are inside. We are inside Hershey Gardens and I'm here with my pal Ed. Say hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> now this is your first time, right? Yeah. Being here? Okay, cool. Then we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. So we're just gonna walk around outside first and um, it's a really pretty day, like I was saying earlier, and the fountain's going this time, so that's really nice. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get going. See the grounds crew here working on all of the roses. Looks like they're pruning them and probably making way for new growth at some point. So the last time, I was just literally just saying, the last time I was here, all of this was totally built up with those really pretty tall like purple flowers. And now they're all completely gone. So that's pretty crazy. Now it's just, now it's just this uh, creepy child. So it's neat. Ed was just noticing how all of the butterflies are on the outside of the net. So she's actually doing like a really, a really piss poor job of, of catching those butterflies. These are, very pretty. I don't think I noticed them last time or they weren't. If you look at the, the way the sticks are. Uh huh. Just like all. Yeah, like the branches and whatnot. They're curvy in a weird way. Yeah, they're like all curvy and. This would be a weird. Awesome if you were a kid. Yeah. It's got like. It's very like cool. Seeds. Uh huh. Overhead. Yeah, it'd be easy to climb and and do childlike things. It's very cool. I don't know how I didn't notice this last time, but it's very cool. There's definitely a lot more leaves on the ground than there were the last time I was here. And hopefully, I don't say that too much. The last time I was here, but uh, can't help but really compare. It's just a uh, very obvious why they call it fall. I found a frog. I have frogs here. Fortunately, it's not real, I think. <laughs> no, it's not real. It's also not bolted to the ground, which is interesting. But uh, yeah, found a frog. I have to document this because I didn't document it last time. And it's a Four Seasons Statues in the back there. So those are definitely part of the crew here that comes to life in the in the dark. So that's neat. Um, but yeah, they were uh, dedicated here for a very good cause. Dedicated to the Pennsylvania Coalition Against Domestic Violence and its long-serving executive su director Susan Kelly Dreis, etc., etc. So, very awesome. But yeah, statues all the way in the back there. Not really sure why they're so far, so far away from, like, the trail here. But uh, yeah, they are there. All right, we're gonna screw it. We're gonna take a closer look 
get off the beaten path, as they say, as I say. Very cool. Very pretty. Which season, which season is which? I would guess maybe spring, because he's got uh, fruit in there, maybe. And then maybe, I don't know, she's got a wreath. So, um, yeah, I was thinking that that's got to be fall, because God, looks like uh, wheat and such in his little satchel. And, uh, well, I'm not a farmer, but, you know, a tool that would help with such things. So probably autumn. <laughs> I'm gonna, winter. yeah, I'm gonna guess winter because of the, because of the wreath. Because why not? And then, yeah, I don't know. I guess summer's the only one left, the worst. The worst of the season, sorry, but it is uh, growing up in Florida and Arizona. Summer's the worst, but yeah, very cool. Okay, inside the butterfly atrium. So we have over 300 butterflies in here and uh, about 40 to 45 species of butterflies. So these guys are from all over the world. Um, they're most they're tropicals, so it will be warm in there. Okay. Um, and uh, watch your step because sometimes they land on the ground in front of you. Okay. And also, um, some people ask whether they can hold the butterflies. We prefer you don't because we do use hand sanitizers and soaps mm -hmm. and things that can actually be poisonous to the butterflies. Okay. But enjoy them. Take lots of pictures. Great. Um, Enjoy the tropical foliage too. That sounds good. Thank you. Take care. Now. Thank you so much. Ooh. It is very warm. <laughs> it is so warm in here. Yeah, it really is. It feels like Florida in here. Oh man. That is your scale. Humongous. Humongous. I'm gonna be sweating like crazy by the end of this. Now we have to watch our step. You don't want to step on any butterflies, but look. There's one right here. Looks like he's enjoying some banana. Cool. These are Diffenbachias, I believe, and they are humongous. These ones are huge. Goes the butterfly. Yeah, lots of, uh, Lots of butterflies up there and here. Hopefully we can get more to land. Just uh, enjoying some pineapple. really well they're they're all really pretty but I like the colors on the one on the right there's one here too it is um it's very warm in here I am sweating like crazy just be aware when you come in here you're gonna be sweating a lot especially if you're like me and you sweat like on a normal day so so they do also have some bugs and he says that there's a jungle nymph in here I'm having trouble I guess it's these guys that guy right there and it's just so crazy how they look just like just like it's like a, a leaf on that plant. And there are humongous roaches in here 
this is absolutely as close as I will be getting to that. And here there is a tarantula whose name is Rosie and it's so cute. There she is. It says, don't tap on the glass, just let her be, let her do her thing. And I totally agree. She's gorgeous. And over here, more cockroaches. Again, I'm not, I'm not getting any closer than that. I'm sorry. Looks like there's some moths in this tent here. And I guess they are required to keep them inside of a contained place. So it's interesting. Yeah, it's a nice uh, variegated plant that's in there too. So smart that they keep it contained in there or it'd be coming home with me. I'm just kidding. Sort of. Looks like some cocoons in here. And the whole area in the back there. I guess they probably do research and whatnot. Ah yes, the chrysalis cabinet. Here you go folks, the life of a butterfly. Look at all the metapods. And this huge moth, looks like a moth, right there. So maybe it just broke out of its uh, little cocoon shell. This is a really neat little uh, water structure here. Looks like this plant is made of metal. And those butterflies too. Feels so much better. <laughs> so you came in, you come in through those doors and get your tickets on just on the your right here. And then there's a gift shop over there. That's where the butterfly atrium is. And then you go in there all the way in the back and then come out those doors there. And then come in right across this way. And uh, there's a little atrium area. This spot is really cool because there are a bunch of house plants back here. Well, a lot of plants, not just house plants, but um, so I just wanted to point out a few of them. And there's like a Swiss cheese plant here, a little um, Monstera. They got some Calatheas, little Peperomia, some ferns down here. This is a real tree? Question mark. More prayer plants. I used to have one of these guys. They're really cool. They're um, rattlesnake plants, if I'm not mistaken. And here's another prayer plant here that looks like it is blooming. So that's cool. Um, a bunch more, a bunch more prayer plants down in here. I just think it's really cool that they have like all of these plants like tuck back in here and and I know they do like events and such in this area and then back in that way but um I always like coming in here and, and just looking at looking at all the plants some of them I have some of them I don't some of them I used to have um, got some ivy here if I'm not mistaken and a bunch of bunch of air plants which are some of my faves. Got some coleus here that have been blooming. You also get a really pretty view outside of that car, driving, driving away. That's what I wanted to show you, is that car, driving away. Here's some Ripsalis. That's really cool. Uh, back in Arizona where I live, used to live, um, these were everywhere, just like on the side of the road. Got some more air plants here. Again, they're like some of my most favorite plants. These don't need soil to live, which is really cool. They just kind of hang out. 
more Diffenbachias and Aglionema, pretty sure, pretty sure, and some ferns. Don't have any ferns myself. They are very difficult to take care of, but they are very pretty. Very nice. I haven't heard of this personally. Tropical pitcher plant. It's cool. I like these guys that are growing off of them. But um, we've got a ZZ plant here. Looks really nice. It's one of my favorites. And some snake plants that are growing pretty darn, pretty darn tall. I have a story for you, and I was that little kid, and they reminded me of it. And I'm gonna say it on here too, but also talk to you. Okay. But, <laughs> but um, no, 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 you're fine. But uh, when we were leaving, so when we were leaving the butterfly atrium, there was a a little boy um, who wanted to leave with with his dad, and um, he was very upset because all of the butterflies were like flying all around, and he was just like super like. Ooh, like nervous like freaked out by it all and one of the things that I remember when I was a kid and probably really just about his his age um, I remember going to a butterfly exhibit and one landed like right on me like square like on my chest and I I freaked out I was so scared and for like the longest time I was scared of butterflies, so. They can be like a little creepy up close. Like, they are, they're yeah. They're absolutely beautiful, but like, you see all their little legs and stuff, it could be a little, a little bunch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and when they're like flying all around you and like, like this close to your face, and it's just like, ah. So I, I totally, I totally get it. I really like, I felt for that child. <laughs> Bees, right? Bees? Yeah. So these are all, they're all air plants. Air plants. Yeah, and the cool part is um, they don't need soil to, to live. So what they do is they, they actually like grow um, on the branches of like other plants, like trees and stuff like that. And then um, they get their water and whatnot from like, you know, the morning dew and like the humidity and, and whatnot. And, and, stuff so it's really cool like yeah they don't have any so how do they get their like nutrients i'm not really sure um naturally how they get their nutrients <laughs> but like for for me as a person who owns a few um you give them a bath every, like every week you just so soak them in water um for like 30 minutes and then um so they get their water for like the week and you can spritz them like every day like they would out in the wild okay. um and then i also have plant food like spray plant fruit food that i that i put all over them so it's cool. yeah it's really neat they're they're like my favorites because they're just so they're just so cool and i think that is going to do it for today and this trip at Hershey Gardens. Uh, we had a really good time. Um, this was Ed's first time here and, and he really enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of unfortunate because everything's sort of like in a in a transition phase right now so not a whole lot blooming you know and, and with the roses and and all of that stuff but um, there's there's time in the future we'll all be back and um it's gonna be beautiful but it was nonetheless still a really great time and um it looks it looks really awesome i love seeing how how nature changes throughout the seasons and there's it, it's still beautiful in its own way so I did go and see the butterflies though finally um so so awesome uh just a couple of things about that now that I've had time to process what just happened. Um, definitely very humid in there as I uh, com complained a couple times. Um, very humid so when you walk in there you're gonna it's 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 warm but you know it's for the butterflies it's it's for the greater good and the plants too like that's that's fantastic. Um, definitely remind me of my my days back in Florida 
uh, with the humidity and, and whatnot. But um, yeah, so so get ready for that uh, whenever you come and visit. But otherwise, I mean, it's it was so beautiful in there, all of the foliage and um, just the different tropical plants that we saw. And of course, all of the beautiful butterflies. Um, I'm really hoping that I got enough shots of them because they were just so, it was just so pretty. Um, really, really cool that they, that they have something like this here in Hershey. So again, I can't stress enough, like you, you really should come and visit, um, if you have the time, uh, when you're here in Hershey. Um, and hopefully, hopefully you all weren't too bored with, with my plant tour as well. I'm, I'm definitely a plant nerd. Um, it might be a good time to say that, um, anybody else out there who is a plant nerd like I am, I do have a whole Instagram account dedicated to my plants and my journey with, uh, with plants and whatnot. So if that's your thing too, uh, why not come find me on, uh, on Instagram? I'll put, uh, I'll put the information in the, in the description below. So yeah, um, but thank you all again for coming along with me. Um, I had a really great time. Hopefully you did too. And, um, yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye. This is my hat hair. When I started off this morning, my hair was like out to here and now it's like pressed, pressed on my head. So good times.